The directions say, determine whether the statement forms in 16 through 24 are logically equivalent. In each case, construct a truth table and include a sentence justifying your answer. Your sentence should show that you understand the meaning of logical equivalence. So they give us two statement forms here, and we have to determine whether or not they're equivalent. So the best way to determine whether the statement forms are logically equivalent is to construct a truth table. So we're going to do both the first and the second part of the directions here by just constructing a truth table. So let's talk about why I set up the truth table like this. So even though we're comparing these two statements here, these two statements are compound statements, meaning that they're made up of individual statements P and Q. And we don't know the truth values for P and Q. They, they don't say in the directions or in the question. So what we do is we list off all the possibilities for P and Q. P and Q are statements, which means that they are either true or false. So if we have two statements P and Q, then either they're both true, either P is true and Q is false, or P is false and Q is true, or P is false and Q is false. It's important to know that if there was a third statement R, then we would need to start off with eight rows instead of four. Okay, so we're going to build each of these compound statements individually, one by one, and then we're gonna compare the columns in this truth table to see if these are actually logically equivalent. So with each logical statement, there's this order of operations that we have to consider. If you notice, there's parentheses right here. Let's start with building this first statement here. Now, if you notice, there's an AND operation here and a negation operation here, and there are parentheses here. So we should keep in mind that there's this order of operations that we should consider. Since we have parentheses here, we should do the parentheses first. So if we wanna build this compound statement, we should first figure out what P and Q is on our truth table. So here I'm gonna write P and Q, and I'm gonna fill in this column in the truth table. If P is true and Q is true, then P and Q must also be true. If P is true and Q is false, then P and Q would be false because Q is false. If P is false and Q is true, then P and Q is false. And if P and Q are both false, then P and Q is also false. Okay, so now we can finish by negating the last column. We already know what P and Q is on this truth table, so now we just need to negate that column. So if P and Q is true, then the negation of P and Q would be false. If P and Q is false, then not P and Q is true. If P and Q is false, then not P and Q is true, and the last row would also be true. Okay, so now let's try to build the second compound statement here. So if you notice, we have two negations and an AND operation, and it's important to know how to build this compound statement using the order of operations. So what are we negating? We're negating P, which we already have a column for P right here. What about the AND operation? Well, this AND operation is operating on both not P and not Q. So to do this AND operation, we have to first know what not P and not Q are, and those columns are not yet on the truth table that we've built. So before we fill in the AND operation in this truth table, we're gonna negate P and Q first. So when we fill out for not P, we have to look at this column for P and flip all of the truth values. And the same is true for not Q. We have to look back at the column for Q. Okay, so now that we have not P and not Q on our truth table, now we can jump to the final compound statement, which is not P and not Q. And not P and not Q is only true when both not P and not Q are true. So in the first column, not P is false and not Q is false. So not P and not Q is also false. And the last column would be true. So now we can finally answer the question, determine whether the statement forms are logically equivalent. Well, we have our two columns. We just have to compare whether or not the columns are the same. If they are the same, then they are logically equivalent. In this case, they're not, so 17 is not logically equivalent. These two statements are not logically equivalent. So now let's write our sentence. We can say, because the green and red columns are not the same, then the two statements are not logically equivalent. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.